two marks questions from the chapter reproduction let us go into the questions what is the difference between fragmentation and regeneration these both are different kinds of asexual reproduction let us see the differences for this let us draw a table with the fragmentation and regeneration on either side in fragmentation each cell is individual cell and each fragment consisting of cells develop new cells but regeneration occurs in some multicellular organisms where the complete differentiation has taken place for example planaria planaria is a multicellular organism in which there are different organ systems in its body if the planaria is cut into several pieces each piece will develop into an organized well organized well developed planaria so in generation in regeneration any body piece of an organism develops into a new whole organism next question what is the difference between natural and artificial vegetative propagations so let us see the differences again let us draw a table with natural propagation and artificial propagation on either side growth of new plants from vegetative parts of a plant naturally it is a natural it is a natural vegetative propagation i means the new plants grow from the vegetative parts by its nature but artificial propagation refers to the developing new plants from vegetative parts of a plant manually the example for natural propagation is potato as a tuber and carrot and also the ginger all these are natural propagation examples for natural propagation whereas cutting grafting and layering are the examples for artificial propagation let us go to the next question name the three types of methods of family planning given in the following picture let us see the answer a is a tubectomy b is copperty and c is vasectomy these are the family planning methods among which tubectomy and copperty are uh, taken over in females whereas vasectomy is done for males why a greater number of sperms and eggs are released in external fertilization what is meant by external fertilization external fertilization refers to the fertilization process that occurs outside the body that is called as external fertilization external fertilization generally occurs in aquatic animals but there are lot of currents water currents so there may be less chance for the fertilization due to the heavy water waves so to increase the chances of fertilization greater number of sperms and eggs are released in external fertilization next question an anm is advising a mother to feed colostrum to the newborn baby why the secretion of mammary glands for the first few days after the baby is born it is called as colostrum it helps in developing the immune system in the newborn baby so anm as her duty advised to feed the baby with colostrum next question what are the differences between layering and grafting these both are artificial vegetative propagating methods so let us draw a table with uh, layering and grafting on either side layering involves only one plant but grafting involves two plants we merge the two plants in layering a weak stem is bent towards the soil and buried but in grafting the stalk and cyan are merged merged together in layering it does not give variants but helps to get the identical to the parent plants but grafting helps to get desired characters in one plant from two different plants if we have uh, two desired characters in two different plants we can get both of them in one plant by grafting the example for layering is chrysanthemum whereas the example for grafting is rose next question what precautions do you take to prevent the sexually transmitted diseases the precautions are lead a healthy life with moral values avoid multiple partners be loyal to life partner take precautions by using condoms if necessary next question the organisms that are produced by sexual reproduction are exact copies of their parents is it true and why yes the plants produced by asexual reproduction are almost exact copies because in asexual reproduction there is no any exchange of genetic material if there is exchange of genetic material then only 
there is a scope for variations but in asexual reproduction there are no any exchange of genetic material so it doesn't form any variations the progeny are complete exact copies of the parent next question the testes are located outside the abdominal cavity in human being why because the testes are located outside the abdominal cavity within a pouch called scrotum scrotum helps in maintaining the temperature 2 to 2.5 degrees less than body temperature this less than body temperature helps i mean it is necessary for the sperm formation hence they are located outside the abdominal cavity next question identify this diagram and label it this labeling question may be asked as such as i have said in earlier videos maybe some parts may be labeled with x y z may be asked to label them name them let us see the answer this is the sperm cell human sperm cell the different parts of sperm cells are acrosome the upper cap like structure is called as acrosome and this is the head portion which contains a nucleus a big nucleus and there is a neck which has a middle piece containing a lot of mitochondria and finally the tail which helps for the motility of sperm cells <music>